Hi, my name is Gasper and I'm Developer Relations Lead at Oasis Network. Today I'm going to show you how to bridge different assets from different chains to Oasis Emerald Network. So Emerald is EVM compatible blockchain from Oasis. Now we will have a demo using Seabridge provided by Seller Network. But first we will have to configure our MetaMask. So go to your MetaMask and currently you will notice I'm on Ethereum mainnet. Here I have 0.1 ETH, some for fees, some for transfer, right? And 50 USDC to transfer between different chains, for example, right? So currently I'm still on Ethereum. If I want to use my Emerald, I will have to add new network. Right, so currently you see I have Ethereum Mainnet, Emerald Testnet, and I want to add Emerald Mainnet. So click Add Network, or you can also go to Accounts, Settings, and you will find Networks, and then you can click Add Network. Now, parameters that you need to enter, you can find them on our Docs page. So if you go to docs.oasis.dev, you can scroll down on the left side. So on the left side, you can scroll down to developer uh, resources and there is Emerald Paradigm. Click on that and scroll down to Web3 Gateway. So mainnet is actually configuration for your network that you need to provide to MetaMask. So I will copy this RPC HTTP endpoint, copy that URL paste that as a RPC URL and name your network. So I will call it Oasis Emerald Mainnet. Now, another parameters that you will have to provide is chain ID and currency symbol. So let's go back to documentation, copy that hexademical or hexa value as a chain ID and paste it right here. And currency symbol is rows, right? Blockchain Explorer URL could be Emerald Explorer Emerald.oasis.dev So Explorer.emerald.oasis.dev That's optionally if you want your transactions can be immediately opened in that Explorer So save that network configuration And now you see on my Emerald mainnet I already have a few rows, right? Now since we already have two networks that we will use for bridging, we can go now to our seller bridge v2, right? Now, first you will connect your wallet. Use MetaMask and you see, voila, it's connected, right? First, you can choose from which network you want to transfer or bridge your assets. So currently you saw I have my assets on Ethereum mainnet, so I will leave that as it is. Uh, two must be set, of course, to Emerald because we want to transfer my, let's say, USDC or let's say my uh, Ethereum to my Oasis Emerald network. So keep in mind that minimum is 20 uh, USD, so $20 is minimum. Um, and I will just set 21 USDC um, to be transferred or bridged to our Emerald network. So let's first approve uh, our C bridge to use um, my USDC, right? So first let's approve C bridge. Um, and if the pop-up doesn't appear from MetaMask immediately, you will notice this number one, which means you have one message to confirm, right? So you will see the transaction fee currently, it's pretty, let's say, uh, for Ethereum, okay? So I will just confirm that. And you will notice now I will um, start with my transaction. You see, your transaction has succeeded. So I approved and now I can transfer, right? So let's click transfer. You see now minus 21 goes from the Ethereum mainnet to Oasis Emerald where I will receive almost 21, right? So that's what I will confirm. All right, and I will receive, you see, CEUSDC. Okay, 
So you notice that there is one message in MetaMask, which means I will have to confirm that transaction, right, with all the estimated gas fees. So to be able to transfer my 21 USDC, I have to confirm my transaction. Confirm. Okay, so you see now my contract interaction is pending and transfer is submitted. So now I will have to wait approximately 5 to 20 minutes, you know, for our funds to arrive into our um, Emerald wallet. So what I will check first is if my MetaMask has this USDC, uh, you know, already inside. So since we have only 7.99 rows, I, I will import that token, right? So I clicked import token and to get smart contract of that CEUSDC, you can go to Emerald Block Explorer, right? And you can just write here CEUSDC. And that's the one which we will be using. And I will just copy address, go back to my, um, yeah, we can go back to Seabridge, but essentially we need MetaMask. To import token, contract address, provide, and you see this is CUSDC, add custom token, import tokens, and now we have CUSDC here, uh, and we can wait uh, for funds to arrive, right? You see, I just refreshed my status and now it's completed. So now I can go back to my MetaMask and I can check if the CUSDC is inside. So let's open my MetaMask and voila, there are my CUSDCs. Perfect, right? I hope you like this video and we see you in the next one.